Thanks for staying with us. So we have with, with us on the phone Honorable Tolu Lokwe Akonde Shadipe. She's the honorable member who alleged gender harassment in the elevator yesterday. Good morning, madam. Are you there? Yes, I am. Good morning, everybody. Good, good morning. Good to have you on the show. So, obviously, we read your story in the papers this morning, and we'd just like to know exactly your take. What exactly happened? Yes, um, what happened? A uh, very, very, yesterday was a very, very sad day for me. Very, very sad day. Um, because I never expected that kind of thing to happen within the walls of the National Assembly. If it can happen within the walls of the National Assembly, imagine what the woman out there is going through. I was in the elevator, and there were quite a few other people there because I was on my way to a meeting. So I was leaving the building. Um, there was um, other people there, and a particular gentleman who I was chatting with, who is a, a staff of National Assembly. Then I noticed that the man in front of me was too close to me because of the people in the elevator. So I made a statement to him. I said, please, don't step back. I don't think there was anything wrong in that statement. He now turned around at such close proximity to me in my face. And that was quite intimidating telling me basically that I had no right to tell him not to step back. I had my national identity, I mean, sorry, not national, my national assembly ID card, my identity card on me. So obviously, he knew who I was. And I said to him, I said, you behave very badly here. And I wonder, could you please tell me who you are? Because I was going to step up the case. You know, that I have so, 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 I'm so, at the time, I didn't catch the name because I was so intimidated. We stepped out of your elevator and I was so upset and I was walking towards the exit where I knew I would meet the secure sergeant in us and bring the issue to their attention because I didn't feel safe. And then I ran into my colleague, the chairman of health, and I immediately told him that this is what this man has just done to me. At that point, they told me to apologize to me. The minister of health was there. He pulled me aside and said I should calm down because of my health. And then I continued. By then, the sergeant in hand was aware of what was going on and was walking down the corridor towards us. At that point, I told them again what this man did, and I said to them that I am going to cite formal charges about this. And I left the building. So, and I went to the... Honorable, to so did he at any point touch you? No. He did not touch me. He was in my face. Okay. Right. And I needed to prevent him from stepping back. Because if he stepped back, what he meant is his body would be touching my body. Right. His back would be touching my front. And I thought that was intimidation. Right. right. And which was why I said, it could have happened in L, which was why I said, please don't step back. And I believe the fact that I said, please don't step back, right. should not have resulted in this. Right. If he did not have a mindset that a woman meant nothing. If I was a male member of the house, what happened yesterday would never have happened. All right, let me get a few I more questions in for you. Right. So, Mother, okay. Honorable mm -hmm. Ma, um, the man in question is the spe senior special assistant to the deputy senate president on, on print. His name is Jide Babalola. He says that he it was merely a case of bumping into you. That he had, uh, you, he said you had accused him of bumping into you, and he said to you, Madam. I didn't bump into you. This is me quoting him as he said, said it. Now, is, was this really a case of bumping into you? you take, did you take offense at being, as being, as, as being addressed as madam instead of honorable? That is not the case, madam. There is nothing wrong with addressing me as madam because I am a woman and you will address a woman as madam. And I do not even remember him using the word madam at all. And he did not bump into me. I prevented him from bumping into me, and that infuriated him that I had the audacity to tell him not to step back. Right. Okay. Um, Ma'am, you said All I said was, please don't step back. Right. Mm. And he challenged me. Right. And I said, because if you step back, your body will touch my body. Mm. I never want to use the word bump. Okay, ma'am, you mentioned... And he said, I have no right, basically... If All I right. remember, not his, word, his choice of words, but his interpretation of his right. words, 
Let me, let, me get, let, me get, right. let me get a question in for you. Go ahead, Mara. Yes. Um, so sorry. in the beginning, when you started narrating the story, you said that there were other people in the elevator with you. Were the, are those people willing to confirm what transpired between you, that you actually asked him, please, to not bump into you? And can they confirm that he was rude towards you? And um, when, if that is confirmed, what is the step that the National Assembly would take towards this? Okay. Um, yes, there were people there. Yes, there are witnesses that can tell you and collaborate what I said happened. And yes, I have informed the leader of the House of Representatives, Right Honorable Femi Bajadia um, yesterday night. And again, I will put it formally in writing this morning. All right. Okay, so I wanted to ask you this question. Um, obviously, you, it, it wasn't you. I, I cannot imagine how you felt. It's your experience. Um, like Nima mentioned during the, um, um, earlier. earlier during the newspaper review, there are many women being constantly harassed around the country, and they do not have the platform you have to be able to um, speak up the way you have done. Um, I want to ask you that, what, what are you hoping to achieve by prosecuting him, and how do you intend to um, use this experience to ensure that no other person goes through that, where they will feel intimidated because they spoke up, they, they, they they spoke up and said, don't come close to me. Agenda. Yes. I, I thank you for that question. In the past 24 hours, I have been intimidated but would I say the journalist, the, the world of journalism, because the gentleman happens to be a journalist. But I thank God that I have the confidence to be able to stand my ground on this matter. And this also brings to at the attention of the whole of Nigeria what women are going through. Because if I, in my safe confine of my workplace, the National Assembly, can be faced with that kind of intimidation as a member of the Nigerian legislative, um, what would I call it, caucus. Can you imagine what women out there are faced with every day? If that can happen to me, this needs to draw attention to the fact that Nigerian women are suffering. We're suffering. If I had kept quiet, it would have been okay All right. for him to bump into me. Thank you very is much. That what the I'll, 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 is yeah. I have to wrap up at this point, but um, thank you for sharing your story. We'll try to um, maybe talk more about this after the break. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So earlier we spoke with Honorable Tulu Lokbe Akonde Shadipe, who expressed her experience uh, that we read on the papers. But you see, this is an issue of personal space. A lot of Nigerians may not understand what it means, personal space. So myself and Tokwe will try to demonstrate what she was trying to say exactly. So Tokwe, you are going to be Honorable in the elevator. Mm -hmm. I will be the gentleman walking into the elevator, and then we'll see what happens. So come stand right here. So she's in the elevator already, and I'm the, I am the male honorable, right? Mm -hmm. Trying to enter the elevator. So I enter the elevator. Hey, hang in there, hang in there. Special. So I enter the elevator, and I come right here. Don't, don't step back. You're really, really so close. So actually. don't step back, meaning don't step back. Now, mm. instead of me to say, oh, I'm so sorry, move forward. Mm. Or step forward. Instead, when you say don't step back, instead of me to move forward, I'm like this. Which so and she's like, ah. yeah, so she's wondering, ah, mm -hmm. in my face. Mm. So now, that's my, to many my team, Big deal, but you're in somebody's space, personal space, somebody's personal space. So, and I personal think... space is the physical space in me. So, it's a thing before we think it's something that people bring Invented. up and concoct. So, mm -hmm. it's the physical space immediately surrounding someone mm. in which encroachment can feel threatening or uncomfortable. So, she said she felt intimidated. So, so it's yeah. not that it was a feeling she just wanted to express because how dare he mm. encroach on his personal space. It's actually a feeling you get when someone goes beyond what you... It's, it's, is respect, respectfully respect. the distance that it should give right. between each other. But also, she mentioned that it was an elevator and there were other people 
in the elevator as well. So maybe it was a bit tight. tight. But as you um, demonstrated, just one step forward would have, would have just created in there. Just mean to respect. show respect yes. too. Out yeah. of respect for the person. So for Let me take his account again. And just for the benefit of our viewers, he was interviewed in the punch detailed and quoted well. So that's why I'm relying on this. He said at the point, I didn't know who she was. I didn't know she was a honorable member. So if she was just anybody, which he had, you know, been under that misconception that she was just anybody, so this could fly. Also, he went on and said, I don't usually use the elevator for lawmakers. So if he was a lawmaker, of course, this would not have happened. Mm. But of course, again, he thought she was just an... Any, a just any person. A regular person. So women go through this daily. I remember hating it and people thinking it was just because of the hijab. When I said, don't come to my space, I don't pay me certain uh, patronizing comments, I see it as an abuse of my person. It seems like, ah, what thing they do, you they abnormal. But just as you read what it means, for whatever I consider the, the limits that you can go, that's where you should stop. The yeah. moment I don't feel comfortable, you go back. Right. So in a, an elevator, for instance, she says, don't move forward. The, the, the respectful thing to do, whether she's female or male, is try to create that space. Mm. Because in our public buses, women go through this daily. When you are made to stand in certain buses, the man behind you is making it seem like heaven will fall. Some people would sit beside you in the bus, and you're not just comfortable by the way the brushing and the touchings are happening. But you don't have the platform to speak about it. And this woman, obviously what she felt to, to went through is real. It happens to people daily. You want to say, ah, now me cover your larger. Women around will even start to say, what, what are you mm, saying? And some right. women even are physically, sexually yeah. abused yeah. in such positions. People are brushed. And they are supposed yes. to be you silent. Know, especially if you, are, if you are busty. Ah. They'll just turn around. As in, behind. As in. So you have a behind. So they happens. lean a little bit into your space yeah. so mm -hmm. that you can feel that brush. And then, yes, when you tell someone, the person will be like, what exactly are you complaining Talking about? about mm -hmm. there, there's a crowd here. I see that in queues. Mm -hmm. So you see that, yes, there's a crowd, but also there's a respectable distance yeah. you give someone. But people, some people don't take it. They uh. take advantage of that because how then do you now want to dissect that thin line between you brushing that person and the person, um, you know, take encroaching mm. on your space? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a thing. Oh, please, let's respect it's a, each other. Yes, please, I want to make also mention another place where it plays out is, like, when I used to be on a, when I used to take a bike regularly, it was extremely uncomfortable. You see the bike men leaning, like, I feel like you are leaning back towards <laughs> it. So I, I oh, do the like bike this, like yeah. this. Mm -hmm. And we need to understand, and I, and I see messages here saying, um, maybe it was the tone of her voice, she, was, she used a commanding voice yes. to talk to oh, him. But you have to use a commanding voice. Then another person was like, he did not, he, he, he did not touch her. Mm. You know, so, it, this, for me, the messages, whatever we discuss, because any story that has to do with any form of harassment or all of that, mm -hmm. the responses I get we'll online, it. it just shocks me, like, are you kidding me? Is it, is it because it's not you... Mm. It's happening to yeah. which one is she used the commanding so, tone? So, 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 so you are confident it means everybody will look at you like, oh, so who do you think you are? Yeah. Or oh, because you are an honorable, or oh, because she's in it. No, I did not know she was honorable. I, like, if I don't remember, I'll have, she I'll have done something be different. She's a person, human female being. or male. I don't yeah. want you in my so space. Let's it's just, simple. We have right. uh, comments on our YouTube. Okay. Um, ACAC says, this woman don't have a point convincing to make. Just leave the rest of the other women. They will sort out their issues. You are the only one indirectly intimidating the man. But then Carl Williams says, I don't want to hear anything. As soon as she expressed her concern, she should have, he should have corrected himself. Then I said, the man intimidated her, which was wrong. He could have touched her. It is wrong that you do that. Um, Janet also says, a lot of women have suffered assault and intimidation from male, uh, male counterparts in the past. Okay. A lot of times when this right. happens, it is simple, but step aside. I don't queue. When I go to a queue, I say, please, I'm behind you. I don't queue because of things like this. Yeah, right. So... Okay, that's all we can take uh, on this segment. I just hope that um, we learn about personal... I think that's the real reason, crux of this conversation. Mm -hmm. Yes, make, but there was no old. physical harassment, but there was no verbal harassment either. But that's, that invasion of your personal space, which is a real feeling. It's a real thing. Please, a real thing. Let's not assume that people are just being um, overzealous about it. It's actually people really feel intimidated and harassed when you do that. Let's go on a break. When we come back... We get an update from the Ikoyi Collapse Building. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So before we move on to our hot topic of the day, we have with us um, gentleman, Mr. Jide Babalola. He is the, the second party in mm -hmm. the elevator saga. <laughs> and the thing that happened in the elevator. So he reached out to us because obviously we spoke to the honorable member earlier. 
Uh, Mr. Jide Babalala, are you there? Hello, sir. Hello. Hello, sir. Can you hear me clearly? Yeah. Yes. So earlier we spoke with Hon we spoke with um, Honorable Tolulope, uh, and she Shadi. explained to us um, what happened. And now that we have you on the line, could you kindly tell us? Oh, I think we lost that call. We'd really like to hear from him because it's always good to have both sides of the story so we have a balanced conversation because the issue, regardless of what happens, the conversation really is about personal space, understanding and respecting personal space. That's the whole idea. We'll try to connect with him in a minute. But uh, in the meantime, I think we'll move on to our hot topic of the day, which is continuing the conversation we had yesterday. And it was because I think Nima wasn't there and we thought it was important for you to be there. Because you're talking to issues on um, finances, sharing um, finances with your spouse. And it's important because you have experienced a lot of men and women who have um, who are falling short of what, 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 what should come to them because of the decisions they made on finances. So I know you have some experience on that. That's why I wanted you, I wanted you to help us <laughs> understand better how do we manage finances, especially when it comes to disempowered spouses. You know, mm. the women that they didn't work all their lives. Mm. You know, they don't have money, and then they put every, every, every small thing they have, they put in the same pot. Mm. And, so, and unfortunately, somehow, they, um, they, they miss out on it at the end. There's a principle of law that I, I felt encouraged for women that are supposedly disempowered when, when I was studying um, laws of equity. And it's the principle of advance, advancement. But recently, even abroad, that principle has now been... Okay, so I have to pause you. I'm told he's back okay. now. So I'm sorry you have to keep switching, but it's important to hear Mr. Gidi Babalala's side. I'm told he's back now. Mr. Babalala, are you there? Yes, I am. Very I, I good. Back. Hello? Yes, sir. Please go ahead. I was I was driving, but I received several calls, and you know, I thought, you know, I'm just, you know, taking this now. I, I really appreciate, you know, your inviting me to uh, express my decision. You know. Thank you very much. So tell us, sir, what happened on that day exactly? Tell us like, your own side of the story. It was yesterday, quarter to 12. I left the office of, of the Honorable Member of the National Assembly. I told him that I need to go and pick my children somewhere. I was really in a hurry. Okay, normally I avoid crowded elevators, but the ones I was close to, I bought the I turned into the elevator. We were going downstairs from the third floor. So when we got to the, to the second floor, even though it was crowded, two or three more people came in. So, you know, making it necessary for us to shift a bit. I was very conscious of the space of the two women, you know, in the elevator with us. You know, I, I'm always very conscious of that anyway. So, Suddenly, I just get from behind the sideways, you know, behind me, you know. So, angry expressions of something like you're about to bump into me, don't bump into me, and all that. And I was shocked, you know. And, you know, after, after hearing one or two more things, I just had to, you know, look at the person. And she said that, you know, she, she was not very angry, really, you know. I understand if there's any anxiety about that. If she was quite angry, who are you? What, you know, what are you, what, you know, you're about to bump into me and all that. But I, I, I had to ask you that, what kind of thing it is it? You know, I didn't know that she, at that point, I didn't know that she's the honorable mem member of the house. So I referred to her as madam, you know, which, which probably caused more anger, you know. So I said, madam, calm down, nobody's bumping into you. And she was really angry, you know, I said, okay, now, you know, who are you and all that, you know. I still, I responded. I said, that, Madam, who are you two? What is your name? You know, just the way she asked me. So by the time we got to the grass floor, there was uh, there were some top government officials and honorable members coming. She approached them and you know she was really angry, so they tried to intervene. One of them asked me, okay, what happened? You know, and I explained very quickly. So I was told by one Mr. of them. Mr. Babalala, the let me ask you, at, at, at any point in time, did you apologize for being in her space? I did not invade her space. It was a crowded elevator, the public elevator in the House of Reps okay. that was meant for commoners like me. There was one specially meant for honorable members. I don't ever go to that one. But that one, there were nine of us in a, in a part in an elevator. And I never, you know, our body never touched. Today, this moment, you never say that our body ever touched or anything. 
It was just from a warning of you know, some, don't bump into me that everything started degenerating. I never right. experienced this sort of thing in my life. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Go ahead. Okay, so Mr. Thank you very much. I would like us to see. I don't think it's about um, commoners elevator or you know special elevator. No, I think it's you. I, I think though. you. I think it's first about the fact that someone has said to you, "Oh, don't bump into me." Maybe she saw that you were about to bump into her. But secondly, could you? Uh, when you talk about it, were you upset that she said, don't bump into me? Or did you think there was a tone of voice that she used that didn't sit well with you? Is it the fact don't that don't bump into me was your problem or the fact that maybe her tone of voice was not acceptable to you? No, the, the tone was really intense. And I thought I could calm things down. When she started asking, who are you? What is your name? I thought, you know, I can just respond. I said, Madam, who are you? What is your name, too? That, you know, I thought it's a simple matter that we can de-escalate, you know, at that point. You know? Then All by right. the time we go down said, it's only God's word. Okay. Yes. Mr. Babajide, um, Mr. Uh, Mr. Babalala, did you, did you understand her point of view? Did you feel like she had a reason to be agitated? Without, without doubt. Without doubt, you know, I've lived, you know, you know in, in the northern part of Nigeria and in the you know, in other parts of the south. Without doubt, a woman has a, a, a right to her private space that should not be invaded. Whether she complains about it or not, a man must respect the private space of a woman. I believe that, you know, very sincerely. Okay, Mr. Mubalola, you just said earlier now that you said to her, calm down, nobody's trying to bump into you. So yes. uh, could you have um, done any other thing? Because, you know, from our own point of view, you were bumping into her. About to. Or you were about to. So even though the elevator was crowded, like you said, nine people, nine persons within the elevator at the time. Yes. Could you have seen it from a point of view of, of her space? Rather than the crowded elevator, well, because even between, between between the honourable member and I, somebody dropped a jerry can. One of the cleaners or two, one of the people you know in the elevator that we met there, had a jerry can, which was between us. I couldn't have bumped into her for any reason, and that was that is what I kept saying that male or female, I can't bump into anyone. See, for God's sake, I had I I I got infected with coronavirus last year. It was the only experience for my family. Even right. as bossing that lift, that elevator, it was because I was in the hurry to go and pick my kids right. from where they were. I don't support crowded elevators. Right. I avoid it. All right. Thank you very much. I think we can wrap it up there. Thank you very much for right. helping us to get your side of the story. As I said, regardless of how this tilts, the point is that people, human beings, must respect each other's space. And he's saying that he acknowledges that a man and woman should have personal space and nobody should bump into each other. So, and she also acknowledged that he didn't bump into her, he was about to. And then so that's when she, she, she stopped him. Right. But the truth is, either way, the, 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 the objective of this conversation is that we must always recognize that people, individuals have personal spaces that we shouldn't... shouldn't take offense um, or think the voice is loud when the person is trying to express how they feel. So in our expressions, it doesn't, the tone cannot be gentle or nice because okay. she is the one anticipating an invasion yeah. into that space. Yes. So the tone can be anyhow, but okay. you, <laughs> on the receiving end, try to you know, create right. respect. Thank, Thank you very much, Mr. Jide Babalala, for sharing your side mm -hmm. of the story. Okay, moving back now to our story. We started this conversation yesterday concerning finance, and the reason why we said it was because um, we got messages from people complaining. I think it was a man that was saying mm -hmm. that um, his wife wanted him to... Change the property change the... that she acquired before they got married into her name when they got married. No, no, well, that's, that's, a, different that's a different account. Yesterday, we talked about a joint account. Then we're going to break. When we come back, we'll establish the story properly. <laughs> Stay with us to break back. <laughs>